In this video, I will explain how you can pass the parameters to custom functions in Google Sheet Apps script. I will also explain how you can pass the range as well, range of cells. So top two examples basically tell how you can pass the parameters. In the first example, I have passed one parameter. In the second example, I have passed two parameters. So it is just a normal JavaScript function. If you know JavaScript, it is very simple to create a custom function and pass the parameters. So you can see here, I'm uh, passing parameter with the name param, param1 and what it is returning is that if it is greater than zero, it returns true. Otherwise it returns false. And you can use this particular function in the Google Sheet as well. I'm gonna call that function over here like that. And let us pass 33. That's how you can call that function that I just showed you. And since 33 is a positive number, it is returning true. Now let us try with minus 33. This time it should return false. And that was expected. We can also pass the cell reference as well. For example, let us pass B62. Now B62 is actually this one. So it is 111. Since this is a positive number, it should return true. And you can see that it is returning true. That's it. That's how we can pass the parameter. That's how we can pass the parameter of the custom function. And same way you can pass multiple parameters uh, like this. So in this example, I'm passing two parameters, number one, number two. And what it is returning is the biggest number out of that. If number one is greater than number two, then it is going to return number one. So let us call this function. I'm going to do it here. Bigger num. And let us pass 22 and 33. And it should return 33 because 33 is the biggest number from these two numbers. As you can see, it is returning 33. And the same way you can pass the cell references as well. So that's it. So passing the single parameter or multiple parameters is very simple. Now let us see how to pass the range. When you pass the range, what happens is that you can't access this uh, parameter as such. Basically, if when you pass a range, it acts as a two-dimensional array. So here you can see that I'm passing input. So input is basically a two-dimensional array. And in JavaScript, how you access two-dimensional array is by using two for loops. So basically here we are checking the length of the first uh, array and then the second array's length is being checked over here. And then we are iterating through all the elements of that particular range. And then uh, basically this function, what it is doing is that it is iterating through all the elements in that range. And then all the even numbers are being pushed into the result array. And then the result is being returned. So let us see this in action, get even. And here I'm gonna pass the range B62. So re the range is passed using this colon character, okay? If you, if you put the comma over there, what happens is that this, this will be treated as the parameters. But if you since uh, put the colon over there, this will act as a range. And then that data, this particular data is being passed as a two dimensional array. And if I hit enter, what will happen is that out of these numbers, it will find out all the even numbers and then that even numbers array will be printed over here. So over here, there are two numbers that are even, 12 and two and that will be shown over here as you can see 12 and 2 is being shown over here that's it it's very important to note that this particular input is a two-dimensional array when we pass it a range and if you pass the normal values then it acts as the primitives okay you can directly use those parameters that's it that's how you can you pass the parameters pass the range to the custom functions in google sheet thank you for watching